Okay guys, today what I'm going to show you is how to set up custom mixing on your quadcopter. Okay, there's a variety of reasons of why you would need to do this. Uh, one of the more popular ones seems to be the if you get uh, a light controller EC pack, so where they come basically together uh, and they're usually connected by pins in between. Um, if you're forced to rotate the light controller, then you'll have to rotate the ESC pack as well, and so you, you can't just flip around wires. The second reason would be, uh, let's say you have a little cable that connects the two of them, and basically, like this is a very small cable, I don't want to deep in and deep in, and because I'm using uh, kind of electrical, uh, liquid electrical tape to actually, instead of little tiny bits of uh, shrink wrap to seal off the wires, uh, I just want to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to remap it. Uh, the third reason would be, uh, well, let's say you just messed up. Uh, so one of those reasons, or another, is why you're basically watching this video. So I'm going to show you how to do this, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. So first thing I'm going to need to do is normally, please, please, please remove your props. Um, I'm using a micro simply because it's easier to see which motor is turning in the video if there's props on it, and I'm using a micro for safety reasons. These little guys are exactly going to tear into pieces should something go wrong. So the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out which motor is which. To do that, you're going to go to the motors tab. Remember, no props. Please, no props. Okay? And I'm going to activate the motors. So, <clears throat> under beta plate normally, this would be motor 1, this would be motor 2, this would be motor 3, and this would be motor 4. Same thing with clean flight, INAV, Base flight, race flight, yada yada yada. Uh, anything along that open source, that's generally the configuration. But that's not going to be what's happening today. So, first thing I'm going to do is ascertain which motor is which. Step one, I want to know which one is motor one. This guy is motor one. Okay, motor two is this one. Motor three is this one. And motor four is this one and apparently another one of my light poses chart. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So basically it's kind of yeah. But uh so that's where we're at right now. One, two, three, four. So what we're gonna need to do then is I'm gonna turn this off. And so next step is configuration. So under configuration you're going to have your standard quadcopter. So what we're going to want to do is change this to custom. Now we're going to be doing this in the CLI, which means I'm going to show you how to, to set the mixer in the CLI. And yes guys, for those of you who hate DOS style commands, um, you know, Linux, Unix, anything in that sense, we are going to be working with the CLI. It's going to be easy. Don't worry about it. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is now when working with the CLI, when you try to do something like this, and let's say you mess up, you're going to be typing commands over and over and over again. You're going to be doing a lot of typing. We're going to save a lot of that. So this is the mix I already set up for this particular quad dropper. Um, so there's a few other commands in here. So mixer custom. Now what that command does is it actually tells beta flight and of course the quadcopter that the current mix that you're going to use is custom. So at this point it's going to load no mix whatsoever, there's not going to be anything assigned to any motor. Next thing you want to put in is you're going to want to write mmix reset. So what this is going to do is clear out the current settings, if there are current settings. There aren't yet, but there will be once you start working with it. Okay. So next part is everything that we're going to be doing with the motors is going to be done under mmix. So being that this is motor 1, okay, so I'm going to first of all tell you how to do this. I'm going to show you kind of a little quick little cheat sheet afterwards, but so, first of all, you're going to think of, so we're going to type in mmix. Now, everything in the CLI starts from zero. So instead of going one, two, three, four, it's going to go zero, one, two, three. So motor one is zero, motor two is one, motor three is two, and motor four is three. You'll get it, it's easier to look at, but yeah, it's, it's a little confusing, but I mean, that's the way it's going to work. So first of all, we're going to be working with motor zero, which is this guy. So this is motor zero. So the first thing you're going to need to think about is when you apply positive. So the first, if you look at the top here, you can see throttle is the first value. So we're going to start there. Throttle is always going to be one. When we hit throttle, all four motors are going to be 
putting out flour, right? So we're going to go 1.0 because you can do decimal points. So this is basically what we're doing is we're setting up a multiplier. So throttle multiplier is 1. Okay, so the next one is going to be the roll. Okay, so if you were to produce positive roll, you want this motor to take away at that power. So you want it to go basically negative power. So by adding roll, you're going to remove power from motor 1. Right? So for that, we're going to do negative 1.0. So that's the multiplier for roll. Now the same thing is going to be for pitch. If you were to apply positive pitch, this is going to roll like this, or pitch like this. For that to happen, you need this motor to take power away. So we're going to apply negative 1. 0 0.0 for pitch. Okay, so the next one is yaw. Yaw takes a little bit more thought. So let's say you were to apply positive yaw. Positive yaw would, of course, cause it to rotate in this direction. Now, because this is going like this towards the front, positive yaw would want this motor to speed up. It's going to want this motor to speed up as well, which is going to pull it around. So we're going to apply a positive yaw onto that motor. So that's just going to be 1.0. Okay, next is motor 1. So during our little motor test, this ended up being motor 2, which in the M mix under CLI is going to be motor 1. So first of all, you're going to want that 1.0 to draw. So next thought is going to be your roll. Now, it's on the same side. So basically, it's going to be the same value. You want to reduce power when adding positive value to the sticks. So that's going to be negative 1.0. Next one is going to be your pitch. Now this is different. If you were to provide positive pitch, which is going to pitch it forward, you want to add power. So we're going to set that to 1.0. Next is going to be your yaw. Okay, so this is going to spin like this. And if we were to provide positive yaw, it's going to be turning against it. So what we want to do is slow this down, right? Because we're going to be speeding up these two and slowing down these two to cause it to yaw. So to do that, we're going to provide a negative one. Okay. Now, I'm just going to bring this up. Let's say you have props in the other direction. Um, so motors are spinning in the other direction. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is tiny whoops. Stop tiny whoops. The motors are set to spin opposite. You would just basically apply opposite values here. So let's say you had a stop time work and you don't want to change everything around. There's now a reverse setting, but the tiny work you may have may not have the ability to support that version of beta flight. So you would just create this custom mix. It would be one, two, three, four, but opposite. So you would just reverse the all values. Okay. Next, and mix two which is motor 3. We're going to do 1.0 on the throttle. That never changes. Okay, so this is motor 3. Once again, under roll, it's going to be some positive roll. This is going to add power. So we're going to give it a value of 1.0. Next is pitch. Positive pitch, negative on the value. So we're going to do negative 1.0. Okay, yaw. We're going to provide positive yaw which causes it to rotate this way because this is basically dragging its outer force in the opposite direction. We're going to want to slow this down. So we're going to produce negative 1.0. Okay, so it's really not that hard. And when I show you the cheat sheet, it's going to get really easy. But I like to actually show you the proper way to actually let you understand what's going on. And I'm pretty sure by now you've got the last one figured out. But we're going to do it anyway. And mix 3, which is motor 4. So on this configuration, this was motor 4. So and mix 3, 1.0 on throttle. Okay, so next is going to be the roll. Positive roll. We want to add power, 1.0. Next is pitch. Positive pitch. We want to add power, 1.0. And yaw. It's going to spin this way. We're going to produce positive yaw. Yeah, yeah, how's it yeah. And my frame just went dead. Because I'm looking at this side of the screen, guys, because I got the camera on the side of the screen. So, yeah, positive, yeah.
is yeah okay so positive yaw we want this to speed up <laughs> sorry about that um, okay so we're going to give that a value of 1.0 okay so the last command you always want to enter before leaving the CLI or it's not going to save is to type in save so now what I've done is I've added this all into the notepad so simply we can select it all copy it and I'm just going to hit Control V. Uh, let's try right click. All right, right click, paste. There you can see. Okay, pressing Enter, adds it in the system. And then, if you just want to verify, I should have Auto Connect. But we're going to go to CLI. I'm going to type in M Mix. M Mix on its own will show you the exact setup. So this is basically what we've copied and entered in. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the cheat sheet. All right, don't mind the resolution. It's a little fuzzy in the middle. That's because I took a small little screenshot of it and then blew it up. Okay, so you'll see in the top left corner, top right corner, these are under this kind of rotation. So ignore these numbers. That's just the stock data flight setup. These are the numbers that you will need to apply to each motor. Okay, so if you determine that this was motor one, you're going to type in mnix zero, one, negative one, negative one, one. This was two, mnix one, because remember, we're down one, one, negative one, one, negative one. This was motor three, so mnix two, one, one, negative one, negative one. And on mnix, or motor four, which is three, and mix number and then one 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 which is actually what we ended up with here so we shrink this down this was motor one one negative one negative one one this was motor two one negative one one negative one this was motor three one one negative one negative one and this one ended up being motor four and one, 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 one. And that's pretty much it. This will work for any combination, even if this was one, this was two, this was three, and this was four. Take what you can from this little cheat sheet, copy it in, but you know, now you at least understand why this is doing what it's doing. So, happy flying, guys, and please remove your props. We don't need anybody to uh, slice off the end of their nose trying to do this. And uh, you should be good.